Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be just a quick little tutorial on how to fix broken eyeshadows when they fall or break. And um, these two are the ones that I did in the video. So if you want to know how to fix these, there's actually two different ways. Um, I show you both. Stay tuned. Okay, so there's, like I said, two ways two, to um, get these back to normal. I had ordered some prismatic um, eyeshadows from NYX and six of them came broken. Uh, they are going to send me some more shadows, but I lost a lot of product, um, you know, as it falls out the side. So uh, that's why I still wanted them to send me more because I paid for it and I want to get what I paid for. But uh, there's no reason to let these go to waste. Uh, so for this, you're going to need, I have two here. So I'm going to do the blue one, the baggy way, and the copper one, the pot way. <laughs> she said pot. Okay, so you're gonna need rubbing alcohol and the higher the percentage the faster uh, it's going to dissipate dissipate and it's going to dry but you can use 70% that's fine and for this you are just going to need something work to tap I'm using this little thing but it's just so we can tap down and that's all you're gonna need for this one so what you do is you take the, seriously, I just spilled. So this is why, this is why this one, I am a klutz. I am the biggest klutz on the face of the earth. That's why I have this down, the paper towel. I swear to God, I, I knock everything off of everything. I get bruises like crazy. The hard thing with these, as opposed to if you have like a pan, you know, just one of these. These are really easy to do because you can just stick it in there and you don't have a lid. So we are dealing with a lid. So that's why I'm showing you two ways because the lid is a little harder to pick up and to get in here. So this is what I'm doing. And you put it all the way to the end like so. And you're going to make it so that it's as tight as you can possibly make it. And it's gonna kind of look like that. Oh, where's my camera, sorry. It's gonna look like that. And then you're going to take this and, and this is so we don't make a mess. And you're gonna make it into a powder because the powder is going to be a lot easier to stick together rather than big chunks. So you are just taking this and you can't really see much of what's going on because it's just one big blue blob, but I'm literally just making sure I'm getting all the clumps out and I'm breaking it up. Okay, so I can't tell if it's all broken up. I'm going to think it is. So that is my opinion. So yeah, it looks pretty good. So you'll probably, oh my God, I'm going to try to pick this up. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I am going to take this and I'm going to kind of stir it up. Again, these are the most awesome little tools. They're supposed to be tweezers, but I I can't pick a hair with that. Like, that's great. Like, look how fine those are. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, so just kind of make sure you're picking everything up and you're getting everything out of the sides. Because sometimes when things break, the sides stick. So you just want to kind of mush it all in here. And this kind of takes, uh, kind of, everything's kind of today. Uh, it takes more of a steady hand, I think this way does. But, anywho. Okay, so it's, it's pretty much broken up. It's hard to get it super fine in the pot. I keep wanting to go this way, I'm not sure why. I hope you guys can see that. So now, we've got it somewhat broken up. You're gonna take this alcohol, and if you have a dropper or a medicine little squeezer thing that you give to dogs and animals and children, that's fine, use that. Another way to do it, because what we wanna do is we wanna get the alcohol onto here, but we don't wanna just pour it on. We wanna kinda sprinkle it, like a showering effect over everything. So just get a, a plain, one of these cotton thingy-majiggies or a cotton ball, and 
get it saturated pretty good. And all you're gonna do is just drip it right on. I hope this is coming on camera. Oh, I just totally missed. And you can't really get too much. It will eventually dry, it'll just take longer. Now I'm gonna just kind of mix this up like to a little paste. Hopefully you guys can see that. Just trying to get it all saturated into a paste. There's a little clumps, but that's, that's okay. And then you're going to take it. I will close it if you can, if you want to close it and then you're, don't drop it, but you're just gonna bang it with ever with force. I guess you can open it because then you can kind of see where it is. So then I don't want it to run. You're gonna get something that looks like that. And then you are going to wait. Oh, there could be bubbles. So keep doing that. But for the most part, get it as level as you can get it. And you are going to let this dry, depending on how much alcohol you used, you are going to at least three to four hours, if not overnight. And then once it dries, which I'll let this dry and I'll come back and show you what to do. Okay, for the second way, to get these is I use a little pot and this is a little tiny spatula it's the most awesome thing ever I got it I think in like one of my ipsy bags or glassy box or something and I have a little spatula that I use and you can use the end of a tweezer you can do whatever all we are going to do we're going to take all the product out of the container this I think is easier, I don't know. It's easier because now we can really clean this. Um, now that we got everything into our little plate, we are going to crush this up. And this is where, I'm gonna get really super close. This is where using this plate works a lot better. So if you are OCD, or you have to have, you know, the only way you're gonna depot these is if they look pretty much grand spanking new. This is probably the way you're gonna wanna do it because you can get this into a really good, fine product. And again, I am just tapping this. Tap, 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 In all the little kind of mulling it around, kind of like you would with a cake batter, trying to get out all of the, uh, whatchamacallits, lumps, or like you would mashed potatoes, unless you like lumps in your mashed potatoes, which my sister-in-law loves lumps in her mashed potatoes, along with the skins. So Thanksgiving, I always have to put lumps in there. So anyway, <laughs> A little too much information. Okay, so now that you've got that pretty well mushed up, go ahead and add your alcohol. You don't have to be so careful since we're not doing this, we don't have to sprinkle it all over. Just go ahead and <laughs> try to make it in the, am I even getting this on camera? There we go. So you don't need that much. And again, you can use this or you can use a spatula um, it, it honestly doesn't matter. I'm probably gonna switch back to the spatula because um, I like the baby spatula. I think you could probably get these little baby spatulas at Sally's, I'm guessing, or online on eBay. Probably get like 10 of them for 99 cents or something. But anyway, so you wanna get this in a paste, but you wanna get, getting all over you want it so it's kind of that's probably a little too much but I'm gonna try and hold this up you want it like a cake batter 
like that you we want to be able to pour this out okay so this is one that I actually lost a lot of the product so this we're mixing it all up all up and now we are going to get it all out and we're going to use our handy dandy spatula, our little baby spatula. Oh, and before we do that, let's clean off the glass here. As well as we can. And we can clean off the inside, which is now gorgeous. You could even wash this in the sink and make it brand spanking new. But for now, I'm just gonna do that. Now we're gonna take our spatula and I'm going to literally like cake batter. And it doesn't look like that much, you guys, but it will fill this pot up. And that's why makeup companies make so much money because you don't get a ton of product for the money. So if, if you can see, I'm gonna try and zoom. We are going to get every bit of this out that we can. And I'm just gonna tap this down a little bit and I'm gonna go back over here and try to get all of this. Out. And then take your spatula or your knife or whatever you got. You can kind of be MacGyver and find out whatever tools you want. And get as much out you can. But you know what, you're saving, you're, you're saving your product. So you can't be too fussy with, oh my gosh, I didn't get it all. You know what, this is better than nothing. Okay, so now that we've got it like this, it kind of looks all gooky goovy. But see, that looks like a lot. And then we're gonna smack, smack this down. And that's pretty much it. Um, it kind of looked like there were some lumps, but you really don't have to worry about smoothing it out. But as you can see, this compared to the blue one looks a lot more smooth. I don't want it, it's gonna pour out, but it looks a lot more smooth than this one because this one, it's really hard to get it finely pressed in the jar where this one we took it out and it is smooth like a baby's bottom except for where I kind of muddled it up and you don't want to touch it because see it's it's very wet um, you can absolutely still use it gorgeous color gorgeous color gorgeous color so anyway um, you're gonna want to let these dry I let them dry overnight and I will come back and tell you what to do look at that color though Anyway, um, <laughs> so I will come back and, oh man, I got blue in here. Hmm, there we go. Um, and I will tell you exactly what to do with these two. All right, see you soon.
So that was the video of how to fix the broken eyeshadows. And as you can see, we fixed them both, yay. And they are almost as good as new. So anyway, that is all. Thank you for watching. Uh, go have fun, it's a beautiful day to go have fun, although it's thundering here in Arizona, so monsoons. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Thanks, bye.